the Roots Band with us today at Country Music Social Media Sessions. How are you, my dear? Very well, thank you. How are you, Helen? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, very well. It's really nice to see you. It's been a few months now, isn't it? Last end of last year. I think we last saw each other in person at the uh, gig thing at no, no, it was actually the UK Country Music Awards, wasn't it? In oh yes, in yeah, that's where it was. Yes, which where you were, you were an award winner from. As, as were you <laughs> again. <Thank> you, yeah. <laughs> You did really well. That was really good. It's a good night. It was nice to, to walk back with something, yeah. I must admit. Um, and I've been dying to ask you, how was the tour? Um, yeah, it was really, really enjoyed it. I mean, it was a few weeks ago now. Uh, really yeah. enjoyable. Um, it's something we've never done before. We've played lots and lots and lots of gigs, but we've never done a, a, a period like that where where we do so many gigs in so few days and we are staying away from home, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously we're based in Leicester, which means you can, from Leicester, you can pretty much get to anywhere in, in Britain within about three and a half hours. It's right in the middle of everywhere. Yeah. So we've, we've not done it. We've, we've been away in a, oh, sorry, I'll turn my phone up. We've been oh, away in, in, in different, um, in, in, we've been in touring in France where we've done that, but we've not done something in Britain where, where you could literally go home. We didn't go home. We stayed away for the whole thing, and it was it, it was for me. Speaking honestly, the, the, the bit where I'm actually playing on stage, playing is the bit I like. The rest of it I like less because there's you know there's it's not that glamorous, and there's lots of time when you're just really just waiting for something to happen. So what you tend to do is sit around drinking, which that sounds like fun, and it kind of is, but. <laughs> after after you've been doing it for six days solid, you sort of feel like I need like I need a break from yeah. It. Twenty twenty years ago, I'd have loved that. <laughs> Not so much now. Yeah. Not so much now. Yeah. So and you got to play the cavern. How's the cavern? Well, well, the cavern was 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 great. I mean, I've been to the cavern as a tourist before, and you know, it's in songwriting terms, a massive fan of fan of the Beatles, and. Uh, it was, you know, great to, to, to be in, a, in such a historic place. It was a lovely audience. The, the audience were were a, were a country music audience, so they they seemed to understand what we were doing and why we were there. And uh, <laughs> that's always a good I really song. enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, that's not always the case, as you probably know. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it, and we, we I think we played well that night, so that was good. Wow, that's fantastic! Yeah, no, it's something I'd like to like to get. I've never even been. I've been to Liverpool once, and that was very briefly. So I'd like to go to the cabin. That's something I will, would love to do at some point. So, have you got a slightly different lineup now? Are you changing a few things? Yeah, I mean the the lineup since the beginning of the Harlem Roots Band, the lineup has changed because it, it's really really difficult to. And I know you've just you've just started to get along the band route a little bit, Helen. And so, but you know, with with three or whatever it is for within your band. When you've got a six piece band, it's really difficult to keep that thing going. Even if you're your tightest friends and you, you've got, people are in different stages of their lives. It's yeah. like, the, the, the lineup of the Harlow Roos band has changed uh, lots and lots of times over the years. Um, Sam, singer Sam Hobson, she uh, the, almost a year ago was was not heavily pregnant and and playing gigs with us right at the end of her pregnancy, and then she's continued to do gigs with us after that. But it's really difficult for her to do gigs with a, with a new baby, and we we know that we know that. Yeah, and yeah. She's she's an incredible person and musician and professional, but. You know, we know we know we had to get somebody else. So it's time time that we, you know, we we did that. And basically, Hannah Hannah Adams has been stepping in for Sam on and off for the past year. And H Hannah's the person in the driving seat right now, and she's going to be taking, you know, carrying the, the mantle on as the lead singer. Uh, Callum Callum Bishop was our lead guitarist for five years. Uh, he's only a young guy, you know, twenty. Five years old or whatever yeah. and he's he basically has always wanted to do his own band and he's gone on to do his his uh own kind of blues band which is which is his thing really yeah um montgomery slacks we wish him all, all all the best in the world for that we we think the world of callum 
he uh, Callum has been replaced by Lee Adams. Now Lee Adams we've known for about four or five years. Lee has been the person who's actually done all of our videos. He's a vid videographer by trade. Also happens to be very accomplished musician. Handy. And and yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you when you're finding musicians, you look for people around you who who you know and who you know you can work with. I mean, yeah. there are lots of good music musicians around, but they're not always the right kind of people. No, um, that's true. <laughs> I know lots of musicians are great musicians, but you wouldn't want to work with them. Um, you know, so it's very difficult to find people who, who are good enough technically, but also the kind of people that you can spend time with without, without wanting to kill them. That's um, right, yes. And uh, so <laughs> with, with, with Hannah and Lee, we've got that. Um, that's good. They don't, they don't want to kill you guys. That's good. <laughs> they don't want to kill us. Well, they're not said. If they do want to kill us, they're not said so far. But uh, no, that's fine. Well, I'm going to tell, I guess. Give it. So far, so good on that. That's good. And, and you've got a lot coming up because I've seen your name on a couple of really cool artists. Uh, Graham Nash, uh, my childhood crush, Kiefer Sutherland. Is that right? Yeah, well, I could say if your childhood Nash was well, childhood, uh, crush with Graham Nash, you're old, clearly older than you look. But no, you're. Uh, you're <laughs> Your uh, yes, Keith of Keith of Sutherland. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's kind of you know that kind of Hollywood A-lister type guy. He's a yeah, he's a really good musician. He is. Yeah. As well as being yeah, an amazing actor. Yeah, we're we're doing we're really busy this year. We're, this is going to be our busiest year of all in terms of all the gigs and festivals we're doing, and um, we're really looking forward to that. I mean, Anna and I just over just an hour ago, we're trying to go through our dates and trying to tie that in with having our normal life you know of, of yeah. doing stuff with, with family and friends and having you know holidays and things like that it's, this is we always sort of thought this is what we want to do this is what we want to do is just do music and and everything that goes with that but that's that does you know take you away from your normal life a bit so we get it to does. the point where we you know we for instance there was a point last year during the middle of last year where we tried to count up the three days we had somewhere between May and the end of August. It was like 10 days between May and, and the August where we weren't doing something music related. And this summer's even crazier. So, the, but again, that's what you want. If that's what you've set out, you want to do, you want to be a pro yeah. musician, you want to just do music, then, then that's what it is. And you have to kind of live with that for good or for, for bad. You do, and you kind of say goodbye to your social life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your social life becomes becomes, becomes It does, and and you know, and, and funnily enough, we're only talking about this when we played last weekend. I don't know about anybody else, but after I've you know when I've finished playing on stage, and, and you, you generally there's lots of people who want to come and talk to you and say stuff to, you, and they, they want to say nice things usually, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, um, but, and, and you know, but you kind of want to sort of be be in the moment with the people you've been on stage with with the band and yeah. so you know i like to be nice to people and, and say hello and everything then i just want to sit down and chill with with my bandmates yeah. and that's the bit i enjoy most of all to, to sort of it's such a massive rush of energy and emotion playing playing a full-length loud gig with a big band you know and that that is the bit i love and then afterwards it's a bit of a come down and then suddenly you realize you've got to go you Pack yeah. your kit in the van and walk somewhere else. That's a, that's a horrible part of it, and you don't want to appear ungrateful either, do you? Or impolite because you no, want to talk to no, people, but you can't do everything at once. <laughs> of course not, and, and you know the people want to come and talk to you, and, and that's great. And you know if they want to come and talk to you and buy some merchandise or get you to sign something, that's all, all good stuff. Um, but I suppose when I was younger, I loved all of it. Now I love the playing bit most of all and the rest of it less so but hey you know beggars can't be choosers they can't, no, can't. can't have the best of both worlds can we really that's the thing so uh, no it is nice when people want to talk to you i know and uh, you're, you're yeah. a fantastic band you know i'm a big fan anyway of your stuff and rock to my role is the one playing at the moment we've got out here at country music social media we've been getting that out to radio and um, that's a fairly recent one you've got more to come very well, soon yeah that, that, I mean, that's the song from the album which came out last year and, and you know it's uh it's just, it's just probably probably going to have to be the last song from that album because that's about six off out of ten <laughs> that have been singles. But um, uh, you know we we are going to be starting recording again during this year. Um, 
because we've got lots and lots of songs written, but it's, you know, and we've done this thing now where we've, re we've released a single literally every three months since 2019. So that's, you know, that's okay. four years, four years solid of, of one single every three months to keep that kind of drip feed into people's brains that the Heartland yeah. Roots bands out and put, put yeah. the music out. Don't let them forget you. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to be, we've got lots of songs written, but we need to get into rehearsal to, re to first rehearse those songs and then get into the studio to record those songs over the next few, well, we're going to have the next couple of months really. Um, yeah. So that we've got something out because our next thing, thing due out would be the end of May. So that's not that very far away, really. It's not. It don't, it's flying past. I mean, March is nearly gone already, isn't it? It's like, where the hell's the time near, going? We're nearly in April, yeah. I know it's terrifying. It's just goes so quick, so quickly. Something better is the other song that I've picked for today. I absolutely adore this song. In fact, um, when we did the end of year thing with uh, Ken, I actually used that as the the soundtrack to it because I just thought it was such a lovely yeah. song. I'd say yeah, one of my favourites. And like you say, you know, I'm a big fan. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting new music from you. Can you tell us now where you're going to be over the next few months? So anyone listening, because we're going to try and get some radio as well as YouTube. Where are you going to yeah. be? Where can we find you? Do you, do you want me to literally tell you? I'm going to have to put my glasses on right. to tell you this. Do, do, I, do I need to go and get a coffee and a cup of tea? <laughs> no, no, right. okay. I'm, I'm going to tell you very quickly. Okay, so okay this that's weekend, fine. Okay, so this Saturday we're at Eastwell in uh, Mount Mowbray on the 1st of April. Then we're at Country on the Coast 22nd of April. Then the next day we're, we're going from Portsmouth to York to be at the UK Country Music Awards launch evening, the 23rd of April. We're in Birmingham on the 30th of April. Um, and then we've got a little bit of time off before um, the kind of festival season. So we're, we're yeah. Norfolk on the 1st of July, uh, Newark with the BCMA Fan Fest on the 7th of July, back in Leicester on the 9th, Welsh Pool, which you're also out on the 15th, yep. uh, Chagstock in Devon on the 21st of July, next day in Somerset Rock and Ribs Festival 22nd, Wayfest 20th of August, uh, big festival, which is Alex James from Blur's thing in Oxfordshire on the 25th of August. Back in Leicestershire on the 26th. Oh, Carl Fest, 27th of <laughs> August. BCMA uh, Festival uh, in Blackpool, 2nd of September. Wall Garden, Kent, following weekend, 9th. Hastings Festival in in uh, Sussex, 16th. And it goes on. It goes, the list so, goes on. So they can find you on social media, obviously, the Heartland Roots Band. Do not forget all about that. All of stuff's out there on, on the, all the usual places, Facebook and YouTube, Spotify, yeah. and on the social media outlets, as you just said. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to be like ships in the night because I'm playing country on the coast the following day. Um, I was invited oh. to do York, but I can't do York because I'm doing country on the coast. Uh, so I couldn't mm. get up to York in time from obviously South Sea. So, and I'm playing the Welsh Ball Festival. Are we on the same day? I can't remember. Is that you on Saturday? 15th, right, we're on. What? I think that's the I, yeah. I don't have a calendar in my actual <laughs> head, so I can't really play no, it to it's the fine. Well, I'm there on not, Saturday all day, so I hope you'll see you. There? Or I'll wave at you on the M1 as we pass on opposite yeah. carriageway. <laughs> Tips of the night, that's what we'll be. Hopefully we'll see you at one of our events later this year. We'll have to get in touch pretty quickly, won't we? Um, but thank you so much, Adrian. It's lovely to talk to you, as always. Um, keep in touch and get that new single to us as soon as you've got it. You're very welcome. Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Take care. See you soon. Bye. You. Bye. Bye. you 
Walking through that bucket 